Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are doing another entry into the new Super Battle Road Switch Up series where I'm trying out a bunch of different teams uh, within the existing category stages of Super Battle Road. And much like the other stages that we've done so far, this is another one that was recommended or requested by somebody in the comments of one of the previous videos. And this is the Margin Buu Saga stage done with the full Majin Buu Saga team. Um, it was requested just in time. The person in the comment did actually say uh, might as well wait until Ink Kid Buu's Easy A was out. So obviously he's going to be here. And uh, yeah, I imagine this is probably going to be a fairly straightforward uh, run because this team is incredibly powerful, has a ton of like built in healing. Um, and just, yeah, this is, it's going to be very, very strong overall. So uh, we'll see how we can get on here. Uh, we do have nearly 480k HP. Um, with the support from the Boo Piccolo, the uh, LR Boo Tanks, just not taking damage from normal attacks. Obviously, we did, of course, get super attacked in slot one because it's Super Battle Road. What else would we expect? But we'll be okay. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, they'll both super attack me in uh, the first slot. That's fine. But... Obviously, uh, we did raise our defense with the 18 key super, so we didn't. We took a lot less damage from the uh, second one there. Plus, we uh, lower Vegeta's attack here, additional super as well, so double attack lowering. And then, yeah, this team has so much built-in healing potential that this is probably going to be a fairly straightforward uh, no items run here. Because yeah, Boo Piccolo coming in clutch with the stun. So, in fact, let's leave this like this because I need to float off. Uh, Kid Boo's going to come into the next turn. So I need to float off the uh, the buff Boo because I want them to be um, on the same rotation together. So we'll go ahead and do this. And then I guess we'll just grab those and give you those. So we can probably take out uh, Vegeta this turn. We're going to lower his attack again here with the Buhan. So he's not going to do any damage. And then the uh, LR in slot 2 here. Mine is only 55%, but it's got 2 million attack stat. No support. Is this going to be enough to finish off Vegeta? Not quite. So buff boo. Wow, 2.1 for him. So he takes out Martian Vegeta. Very, very good. So Kid Boo. I guess we need to float off the Super Boo then. Because I kind of want him to be on the same rotation as the... Uh, LR boo tanks that we keep on main rotation so we'll float him off we'll do that and then we will do this so it's gonna be a very bad turn for Goku here uh, if Kid Boo gets a crit then obviously he's gonna do a ton of damage 3.6 on his attack stat <sighs> unfortunately no crit so type, di type disadvantage letting us down a little bit there no crit he mine does have I think 14 crit um, I gave him some skill orbs, my Kid Boo, so he has 15 additional 14 crit. So uh, he's obviously going to be uh, dealing a lot of damage as long as it's not against a physical opponent. But you do want to give him, I think, a little bit more additional over crit. Because obviously he raises attack and defense for one turn. Um, as well as the fact that he heals on super as well. Um, I might as well. There's no point even transforming <laughs> the Boo Tanks here because we're just going to win here. So I might as well just do this. And then grab this. Because, uh, is he going to super attack me in slot one? Is that going to be a thing again? Oh, wow. No, it actually isn't. Okay. And so we're back up to full HP. Uh, no items used so far. Like I said, this is going to be a fairly easy no items run, I think. Because Margin Buu Saga is one of the earlier category stages that released. And, um, you know, I did the no items run for this quite a long time ago. And it wasn't super difficult uh, back then either. So with the release of some of these new really powerful units. And obviously some of them getting very powerful easy A's. And this team is just a little bit ridiculous overall. So uh, see so who has the most defense to start off. It is actually Kid Boo. So what's the betting that uh, Piccolo is going to super attack in slot one? Because the thing is... Kid Buu, recovering 12% HP on super attack means that putting him in slot 1 isn't the worst thing overall. Because obviously he um, is going to heal us back if he does take some damage. But obviously ideally we don't really want him to be getting super attacked. So let's get rid of Piccolo as quickly as we can. We'll target him with all the other attacks here. And then we'll see how this goes. So 20k and then 68 from Piccolo. 
But we've got a 4.5 million attack stat now that we are uh, linked up with the buff boo. So lots of damage. And then, yeah, that almost healed us back to full HP. And then we only take double digits because of the defense raise. So 200k from a super, though, unfortunately. That is uh, kind of to be expected. But, yeah, this buff boo with his EZA is actually really, really solid now. So him being the best link partner for the Ink Kid boo isn't like a downside for Kid Boo because he's a very solid unit himself and uh, obviously as you can see this team is uh, is pretty ridiculous um, we are definitely not going to have a huge struggle here getting the additional super from the Boo tanks and that was apparently the one from his passive and we're now going to get the one from his hidden potential system so uh, yeah the LR Boo showing off a little bit of course now he's going to get supered but he only takes 50k, wow. <laughs> and then, yeah, look at all that healing that we just got again at the start of the turn. So, yeah, very, very nice. Um, we can probably take out uh, Gohan this turn, can't we? We can do this. And then we will grab this. Because then we can give all of these to Buhan and get a nice heal off of those orbs as well. So... 45k from the Gotenks. Honestly, that's not even that bad considering my LR boo is only 55%. And we got type disadvantage. And of course, now we raise our defense again. So if Gotenks supers, we would take quite a bit of damage. But yeah, 6, 7-ish K is certainly not bad for uh, type disadvantage in Super Battle Road. So STR boo taking out Gohan. And then we can... We'll almost take out Gotenks, but we've lowered his attack, so he's not really going to do much to us here. And yeah, Kid Boo gets to go first, so it is going to be GG. So let's try and grab the same type orbs here, so we can push that Dokon gauge up a little bit more. And uh, yeah, we're going to be all done here. 4.57 with Kid Boo. This is going to be a very, very quick run. Like if I wasn't recording this and commentating and just going flat out, this team could very easily set like a very, very good time on this stage. Because we are only just over seven minutes in and we are getting to the final stage against uh, Vegito here. So the good thing about this stage as well, um, only having the one enemy in the Vegito here. Um, whilst he does have a lot of HP, um, there's only one enemy. So the more we start hitting him with these attack lowers and uh, obviously the phys uh, the AGL Boo Piccolo um, can stun. Um, it just it makes it a lot easier to manage when you're only fighting one person. Because obviously uh, I've messed up the rotation a little bit by putting Super Boo in slot one. But just because he had type advantage, it makes the most sense to do that on turn one. Because as you can see, he's not really taking a huge amount of damage from these normal attacks. Um, and the super attack was not too bad either. And then, of course, we hit him with the super, lower his attack. Another double super from the STR boo. Also, my STR super boo is full level 10 links. I leveled him up alongside the LR when the LR first came out during the Worldwide Celebration. So those two together are a pretty ridiculous combo. Um, and then the friend one that I brought along does have two dupes. I didn't actually check whether he was level 10 links, but obviously he is just a crazy unit in general. He's now going to go ahead and get the additional super as well. So decent amounts of damage. I mean, considering how much HP this Vegito has, uh, this is the first turn and we've done over half of his HP. And uh, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a pretty good start to the turn, I would say. And then, yeah, the... Bootanks in third slot getting his additional super as well. Unfortunately, he's got no links active because obviously the other Bootanks was next to him. So he's not doing as much damage. But instead, he's just going to pop off and get the uh, passive and the hidden potential additional supers. So three super attacks from him in the final slot there. And uh, yeah, just look at Vegito's health. Like <laughs> That's a really, really good uh, showing for one turn. So considering he was double attack lowered, I feel fairly safe putting the Kid Boo in slot one. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll grab those for you and then we'll give you all of those. That's a lot of attacks for the Buhan in slot three. But then, of course, he lowers attack on super as well. Um, so, I mean, but to be fair, I mean, if we get crits during this turn, it could potentially be game over here anyway. So Kid Boo, 
Oh, yeah. Huge crit. And another super as well. Look at this. So many double supers in this run. The, uh, the boo team just going absolutely crazy. So, and another crit. All right. Well, there you go. Buff Boo probably takes out Vegito here. And, yeah, look at that. Absolute devastation. So, the, uh... Yeah, no need to have any of the actual proper Margin Boo Saga leads or any of those uh, any of those darn Super Saiyans. No, no, you just uh, you just bring your full Boo team and uh, absolutely destroy the stage with no items, setting a new best time. You easily could do it faster than that as well if you were actually trying to speed run it. So, yeah, that was. Uh, that was pretty ridiculous. So uh, there you go. That is another episode of the Super Battle Road Switch Up. Let me know, as always, down below in the comments, uh, teams that you want to see taking on the different stages. Uh, we've already done things like Final Trump Card with Realm of Gods and the Cooler team. Now we've done this one. Um, I think one of the next ones I'm going to do is the Goku family with the Hybrid Saiyans only team. Um, so let me know down below any requests or recommendations for these kind of themed Super Battle Road runs that you would like to see. And uh, obviously, ideally, I'll try and get them all done eventually. But yeah, let me know down below. I posted a poll on Twitter the other day. So if I have a whole bunch of them to do, I might do that from time to time. Um, posted it on the community tab as well. So keep an eye out for those. Um, because the Realm of Gods one uh, we did because it was the winner of one of those polls. So keep an eye out for those and you guys can help influence which order some of these videos will come out in. So yeah, that is going to be it for the video guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the link to my Discord in the description. Feel free to join in the fun over there. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.